Hi there, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. We have a hot weather here today. And uh, we are doing Simply Fun Radicals today. And thank you for watching this clip. Radical is like a treasure hunt. What we're doing here is we're digging out gold nugget. And in our case, gold nugget is really anything that's squared. So let's list some common squares over here. I have a 2 squared is equal to 4. You know the drill. And 4 is 16. 5 is 25. 36. And so on and so forth. So the biggest, largest gold nugget you can see, you can see you should use it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is radical. I see 25 in there. 25 times 6 is 100. 50. Now, if you don't see it, it's no big deal. Let me show you how to do it if you don't see it right away. I'm going to do it on the side here. A lot of students of mine, when they come in, they say, well, I have this tree structure, 2 times 75 and then 3 times 25. That's fine. If, if you see this tree and the minute you got a prime number or a perfect square, then stop. So basically, 2 times 3 is 6, and 25, I didn't bother to do anything else with it because that's my gold nugget. And let's try the same thing over radical 90. If you see 2, let's see, you only see 2, that's no big deal. And 2 times 45, I'm going to circle 2. And 9 is a perfect square. I'm going to circle it even though it's not a prime number. 9 times 5 is... 45. So I'm going to put it in there. I have a radical 9 times 10. That's radical 9 times radical 10. Even though 10 is a nice number, it has a lot of factor in there, but it doesn't have any gold nugget. Okay, so we're going to leave it alone. And this one becomes 3. So it's 3 radical 10. So far, so good. And we have next one 25 radical 24 divided by 5 radical 3. Now, instead of rushing into simplify radical 24, I'm going to show you a trick. I'm going to do 25 divided by 5. I'm going to put everything under the radical, 24 over 3. Okay. Now, the reason I can do that, hopefully the teacher will explain that to you in the class as well. Order of operation says, please, and then you have excuse, my dear, and Sally, add and subtract. Okay, as you can see here, add and subtract and exponents are cousins. They're right next to each other. Okay, so you can actually split them up. So you have a radical of 5 times radical of 7. That's equal to radical of 5 times 7. Now you cannot, however, do with addition. But look how far addition and exponents they're how far apart they are. That does not equal the radical of 5 plus 7. Okay, so the reason, that once again, we can combine multiplication under radical sign is they are cousins on the pyramid of operation, order of operation. Okay, so back over here, we have 5 radical of 8. Okay. Well, 8 is 24. I hope you can see that. So I have 5 times radical 2 times 4. Now, a lot of students say, well, why can't we just do this in one step? You can. However, here's the thing. On the test, slow is quick. As oxymoron as it sounds like, the whole point of taking a test is to show how much you know and how many points you can grab. So when you do it slow, you avoid having points taken away from you. All right, so back over here, 25 radical 24 over 5 radical 3 is equal to 10 radical 2. Now, doesn't that look pretty simple? All right. Well, that's how we solve radicals and simplify. I hope it's clear. Please leave a comment on YouTube for this video. And let me know if you liked it, if the lighting is good, or if you can hear it clearly, or if it helped you at all. Until next time, have a confident day.